Today, Dominic Dilger joins the prank patrol. His mission? To convince his best buddy, Callum, that he's a stunt-driving demon. Fasten your seatbelts and start your engines. This is Prank Patrol, where we help people like you pull off the prank of their lives. Ninjas, pedal to the metal. That's definitely our prankster. Let's go get him, ninjas. Are you Dominic? Yeah. Did you apply for Prank Patrol's help? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. You're the newest member of the team. Cool. You're gonna need this. That's your vest, stick it on. Nice one. Oh, yes. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. That is your pass to prank. Hold it. Feel nice good. One. Mum, I need to borrow him for a while. Is that okay? No problem. Awesome. Follow me, Dom. Meet our newest prankster, 10 year old Dominic Dilger. This cracker's car nut just loves to watch Top Gear. Dom would love to be a big time businessman so that he can buy himself another Lamborghini. Perhaps one a little bigger next time, though. Cool. Now, Dominic, I know you know your stuff about cars, so what do you reckon to this bad boy, the prank van? I have to say it is cool, but not exactly a speed machine. Is hey, it? speed don't. If you've got the cool, the speed don't matter because the cool rule. What? Right, let's talk about the prank, please. Who are we pranking? My best mate, Callum. Why? Because at school there's a group of our friends and we all like pranking each other, but nice. Callum thinks he's the best. I want to show him that he's not, that I am. Well, let's check out Ninja Surveillance. Let's find out a bit more about this so-called Callum. Dom and Callum have been best friends for three years, mainly down to their love of cars. This competitive combo are always battling each other, whether it be football teams, computer games, or fancy dress chess. But will they still be checkmates after the prank? Well, I have to say, Dominic, I think Callum is a really good candidate for this prank. Uh-oh. I'm doing jokes. Not funny. OK, well, let's talk then. So, you're both into cars. What should we do? I just want to make it look like I'm a better driver than him. Like you're a better driver? OK, how old are you? 21, 22? 10. 10, right. I don't think you can drive at 10. So, how are we going to make him believe you're a better driver when you can't? We can make it look like I'm the one driving the car, but I'm not. The old switcheroo is a prank patrol classic. So, Callum's going to see you get in the car and the car's going to drive off. So, as far as he's concerned, you're driving it. But what will actually happen is we'll have a stunt double in the car already. You'll just climb over him when you get in. He won't believe his eyes. How about somebody has heard about it? Somebody has heard that this really great kid is driving stunts in a car park or something and a Formula One scout comes down and offers you a contract. He'll be a fake Formula One scout, of course. He won't be really be an actor, but Callum won't know that to get offered a contract for being a cool driver. A multi-million pound contract. Well, if we're going to do that, let's crank it up a bit. Why don't we get this car to perform? If we've got a stunt driver in there, let's make him do stuff, cos Callum will think it's you. What should we have the car do? Like skids and like turns. It. Skids, turns. Maybe even going on two wheels. <laughs> oh, one of those. A two-wheeled prank. You don't see them that often. <laughs> I tell you what, I've, I've got a nice car joke. <laughs> what happens when a frog's car breaks down? I don't know what happens. It gets towed away. <laughs> Because <laughs> a frog bite, it's kind of like a toad. They're not the same thing by any stretch of the imagination. But... Is that the best you've got? Pretty much. Should we just... Yeah. Yeah. Tell them. Ninjas, take us to Prank HQ! Yeah! <laughs> The blueprint for Dominic's car prank is one day at a racetrack, coupled with one bogus Formula One scout. Add in a stunt driver who pulls the old switcheroo with Dominic, and you've got a prank that's packed with sensational stunts that will drive Callum crazy. Hey! 
Cheers, ninjas. Here we are, Dom. Frank HQ, what do you think? Whoa, cool. It's about to get even more exciting, I do have to tell you that, because this is where I make all the stuff for your prank. So, where would you like to start? Maybe the stunt cat to see some skids. Well, I thought you might say that, so I've already called ahead and spoken to the ninjas, and they've sorted out our stuntman, Rob, who's waiting for us through there. Follow me. Cheers, ninjas. <laughs> oh, well, that's weird. Just spoke to Rob, our stunt guy, and he said he'd meet us in here, but he's not here, is he? I know. I can't see him anywhere. I wonder where he is. Now that is how you make an entrance. I knew that was coming and I thought that was awesome. Nice. Right, Dominic, welcome your very own professional stunt driver. This is Rob. Hi, Rob. How you doing, Dominic? Hi, Rob. Fine, Good thanks. to meet you, mate. Mate, good to see you. Yeah, mate. Impressive stuff. Yeah. Of course, Dom, this is your prank, so it's up to you now to tell Rob what you want him to do in the car. I want, like, skids and turns and, like, going on two wheels, donuts, stuff like that, yeah. Go on two wheels? Yeah. No problem. You can do that? We can do that. We do have one slight problem, though, and that is that Dominic doesn't have a driving licence. So we need to make it look like he's driving the car, even though he won't be. OK, that's what we can do. We've had the ninjas black out the windows so it looks like an empty car. And what I'll do, I'll sneak into the car. Dominic gets in the car, climbs over me, into the passenger seat. We zip round the corner, out you get, and then off we go into the good stuff. It's the old switcheroo. Yep. So, fancy a spin? Ah, oh, I would love to go for a spin. I thought you'd never ask. We're taking you again. You screamed like a baby last time, Zin. Come on, Dom, I've got a helmet there for you. We'll get you strapped in. Nice one. Now, Dominic might seem confident in there, but Rob has just told him what he's about to do. Now, I know what you can do, and it's scary. Let's see if Dominic screams. Ha. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Nice and gentle to start with. Whoa! Whoa! This is insane! <laughs> I'd like to point out at this point, of course, that uh, Rob is a trained professional. If you do have a car at home, please don't try to attempt any of this. He knows what he's doing, and you don't. Oh, yeah! It's like parking at the supermarket, really, isn't it? Oh, mate, Rob, that was awesome. Dom, how are you feeling? That was the best drive of my life. <laughs> I'm just not going to believe his eyes. That's a pretty good thing to be able to say, isn't it? Oh, he's put oil on the door handle. <laughs> Ninjas. Uh-oh. Hi, yes, please. Can I have um, two large cheeseburgers, a chicken burger, a veggie burger, a fish burger, two large fries, uh, three large fries, and uh, a large drink, please? And uh, that's it for me. What do you want? I'm gonna stop messing around and bling up this car. You want to bling this car? All right, ninjas, you heard the man. Let's step on it. Put some welly into it. OK, so we've met our stunt driver, Rob. We know him. We've got our car, which is our stunt car. What we need now is a name that sort of spells out excitement and danger, so we can stick it on the car to make it look even cooler. So I thought if we try designing something here, let's, let's start with basics. What does the car do? It's going to skid. It's going to skid, and we've got a, uh, we've got a man, man in it. Yeah. Skid man. What do you think of that one? <laughs> nah, a bit. Sounds like he's done a poo on the road, doesn't it? Yeah, something like that. Um, what else have we got? It's, a, it's dangerous. We need the danger element. Danger. Um, What's a good name for danger? Derek. Danger Derek. Dangerous <laughs> Donny. Nah, I don't really like that one. OK, well, let's think about something else then. What do you think about when you think about stunts and the guy spinning round and... What do you call a nice car? It's like a, like a, like hot, a hot rod, yeah. A hot, hot rod. rod. So hot rod. Hey, and the stunt driver's Rob, rod. so it's quite similar. Hot Rob, hot rod. Hot rod, certainly. Oh, nice. Hot rod. McKean. McKean. Hot Rod McKean. Mc, 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 McKean? McLeod. Oh, do you know what? You're working Cloud like a smoke. genius. McLeod of Smoke, Rod, Rob, the stunt driver that's working very well for me. That looks like a logo to me. I like it. Yeah? Should we go with it? Yeah. One of those. Let's get it printed and stick it on the car. 
car looks wicked. It looks just how I wanted it to look, and it looks even better with Hot Rod McLeod on. Oh, look at him go. Hot Rod McLeod, one of them. Now, in this prank, we have to make it out like Callum has injured our stunt driver, because obviously that's when the old switcheroo happens and... I step into the car. How are we going to get Callum to injure our stunt driver? Slip on a banana skin. Slip on a banana skin, the old cartoon classic. I like the slipping thing, actually. That's a good idea. Now, could you just, um, just pass me that oil, please? Yeah, sure. So... Oh! Oh! Oh, no! What have you... There's oil all over the place. That could be dangerous. I did... I, I did... I, I wasn't... I, I didn't do anything. It's supposed to happen. I got the ninjas to rig that up because that's what's going to happen, okay? He's going to get asked to pass the oil, and when he does, our stunt guy's going to come in and slip on the oil and pretend to break his arm, which of course is when you get into the car and drive off and start doing the stunts. I like it. So that's going to happen, and then I thought what we'd do is uh, crank the prank up a little bit. What are you going to do? Oil can down. Have a look at this. Let's pull that off. Oh, yes. The Stunt FX Remote Car Control Unit. This is basically nice. a big remote control. We're going to get Callum to stand behind us and flick loads of switches. And what's going to happen when he does that is the car is going to perform different things, even though you're driving it, <laughs> pretend driving it, Rob will be really, it all makes sense. Uh -huh. The one button we're going to get him to press is the SWR, which is right there. That's a very important button. What does that stand for? Steering wheel release. Ah. Sound good? Oh, yeah. Good. So we're all set here for the prank. Only one thing left to do, you should tell them, really. Ninjas, load the van! Yes, please. And while they do that, here's a prank you can get your teeth into at home. Recipe for a prank! Ghostly phone. Ooh. Hey, did you know that you can make scary videos of ghosts with a mobile phone? Well, you can. With today's recipe, just take a mobile phone, a black marker and a tiny strip of clear plastic. Take the marker and draw a little person on the piece of plastic. Next, hold the mobile in your hand and hide the plastic strip under your fingers. Then, in a dark hallway or cellar, tell your friends that the place is haunted. And to prove it, shoot a video. While you're shooting, secretly slide the piece of plastic back and forth in front of the lens. It will totally look to your friends like a ghostly figure. There, isn't that spooky? So, in your prank, the Formula One scout is going to offer you a lucrative contract deal, but he can't do that unless he's seen you drive. And is that why we're at a go-karting track? Exactly. I thought if you drive around the track, he can then come over and give you all sorts of encouraging words, like, you know, oh, I haven't seen driving like that since a ten-year-old Lewis Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Well, while we're here, I thought we might as well get a bit of practice in. You know, you fancy a quick race? Go on, then. Hope you're used to losing. <laughs> Nelly Neaton heading into the first corner. He's leading ahead from Barney and the following by the Ninja. Ninja Foley very close to the second bend. There goes Dominic straight through and there's Barney lagging behind. And goes the Ninja to take second place from Barney. As Barney's pushing on one and there's Dominic still in the lead. And here comes the second flag and it's Dominic by a nose. If you drive like that tomorrow, Callum is absolutely going to be convinced that you are a Formula One driver, isn't he? It's going to be the best prank ever. I can't wait. One more thing to do, of course. Do you want to tell him? Ninjas, take us to the prank location. <laughs> So, here we are, Dom. Welcome to your prank location. What do you think? It's well good. There's Evos and Pretzes, FF. It looks like a real racing track. It looks like a real racing track because it is a real racing track. Those are real sports cars over there. Don't do things by halves here on Prank Patrol. Follow me, I'll show you the juicy bits. Welcome to Race Control. This is where the Formula One scout is going to offer you your lucrative contract deal. Looks cool. So, you can see the ninjas have set some stuff up for us. They still are doing. Nice work, ninjas. They've got some monitors down here. They've got some statistics and data on them, which relates to your race. You'll find out more about that later in the prank. But for now, are you happy with the room? Could we have, like, a press conference? Well, a press conference that gets called because you're just a super cool stunt driver and everyone has to hear about it? Yeah. A very good idea. Well, if Callum thinks his world's on the up at this point, he's very wrong. 
This is the car park, the finale of the prank. This, of course, is where you're going to do all your stunts in the car. Well, we're going to say you're going to do the stunts, but Rob's going to be driving. And that's the ramp that he's going to go up to get himself onto two wheels in the car. And that's going to be, of course, the ultimate finale. And can't wait to see Callum's face when that happens. I'm quite excited about this. I am. But there's still a lot more to be done. There is a lot more to be done. There are two people right there who can sort that out, though. Ninjas, get to it. Chop, chop. Not gone all day. Honestly. Cup of tea? Yeah, one sugar. Dom, the ninjas have everything ready. The only problem now is that you've got to have nerves of steel, as well as buns, because you have got to make a phone call to Callum to get him down to the prank. Let's just talk about what he knows. What have you told him so far? I've told him that I've won a competition and it's something about cold karting. OK. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm Come nervous. Come on, then. Bring it on. OK, right, here's your phone. The number's already in. You've just got to press call, OK? And then stick it on speakerphone so we Three, can enjoy it as well. Three, two, one. Hi, Cal. It's Dom. Right. You know that competition that I won? Yeah. Uh, I've been asked to bring a friend for definite, and I was wondering if you want to come. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll get my uh, mum to phone you later with some details. OK. OK, see you later. Yeah. Bye. OK, right, so he made the call. He's going to be there. He sounds quite cool, actually, doesn't he? Yeah. We've done the high five on the right hand. Let's do a lefty. And let's get to it. Follow me. I'm really confident. Come on. Our prankster Dominic Dilger wants to prank his best mate Callum into believing he's a sensational stunt car driver. Will the prank be ram jammed or will it just be a traffic jam? It's time to burn rubber and find out. OK, not to make anyone too nervous, but Callum is on his way right now. We're all set in here, that's definitely set up. So, uh, meet Graham. Graham is going to be our Formula One scout today. Uh, John Wachowski today, fellas, thank you. Of course, John yeah. Wachowski. Uh -huh. Anything to say to him? Talk about the contract. Yeah. Millions, remember. How's about billions? Billions is good. Make it sound really cool. Sweet. Lovely. Yeah. Cheers, see you in a bit. Andy is our actor who's playing okay. Hot Rob McLeod. Anything yeah, to say to him before we go? Be very self-centred, overconfident. Yeah. Sweet, I can do that. You got See it. A nice one, cool. Nice Get one. into position, thank you, Andy. And of course, we've got Rob, our stunt driver. How's it going, Rob? Good, thanks. Good. What do you want to say to him? Don't forget to take your steering wheel. Thanks a lot. It's quite important. Lovely, Rob. Get yourself in position. Thank you very much. OK, so Rob's going to get into himself in position now so that we know exactly what's going on. He's going to be in the car when you sneak into it, so that's all set. Uh, good, we're good to go. Just one more thing to do. Ninjas, hide the van! Yeah, and quickly, he's coming. Come on, quick. So, Dominic and Callum have just arrived and have put on their race suits, ready to meet Hot Rod in the Cloud. Let the pranking commence. Ah, oh, competition winners. Yeah. Names? Uh, I'm Dominic. Dominic. Callum. Callum, where are you from? Uh, we're from Berry. Berry. From Berry, and you won the competition to come down and meet the superstars like myself today? Yeah. Big day today, boys. You've, got, you've come at a good day because uh, there's uh, a Formula One scout coming down here today. In fact, he's already here. So today's my big day, my big chance. This is not just a scout, this is the chief scout for Formula One, you know? I already know I'm going to be better than Lewis Hamilton. I know I'm going to be better than Michael Schumacher. Huh? Just call me Mewis... Hamel Shaka. Ah, oh, beautiful work, Hot Rod. Anyway, but now, let's get down me. to business. You want a competition, you come down, you can have a bit of fun. You uh, want to go the go-karts? Well, it's all about health and safety, chaps, so let's go this way. Well, all seems to be going well so far. But before the boys are let loose on the go-kart track, the Hot Rod has some words of advice. I like to feel the course. Every course I go on, I feel it. Do you know? No. Nope. I feel it, I touch it, I want to be it. I need to get to know it. I like to lick the course. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously? It's funny. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to, I'm not going to ask you to. But, you know, everyone's got their own little things. I feel, you know, it's, it's not just gravel to me. I like to lick it. Ah, <gasps> oh, gross! And then I want to walk around it. Well, I'm going to start walking. We're going to start our engines as us. <laughs> yeah? So I'll start your engines. <laughs> right, louder, louder, loud, let me hear the engine. <laughs> Brilliant. What better preparation is there than running round a track making car noises? Only now are they ready for some go-kart action. I win. These laps, they're going to be timed, so you're going for your best lap, OK? So give it your best shot. Not only are they being timed, but the laps are also going to be observed and monitored by our F1 scout, John Wachowski, who's conveniently just arrived. Yeah, it's almost as if we planned it. Yeah, not bad, how are you? Love to see you here. 
Nicely held, that. Nicely held. Ah, oh, brilliant. F1 scout John Wachowski is looking suitably impressed by the boys driving, but will they believe what he's got in store for them? Excellent. Thanks cool. Right. Leave it a go. Love to meet. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Take care. See you soon. Got something very exciting to tell you. You're not going to believe this. It's one of them days. You know the scout? Did you see him there pull up? Yeah, yeah. He can spot talent a mile off. I don't know who took that corner, but he was impressed by it. And he wants to see you in 10 minutes. Huh? I oh, swear. Nice Callum, what do you think of that? That's weird. Isn't it weird? It is kind of weird, but Callum seems to be buying it. So let's get John Wachowski to seal the deal by showing them some fake race stuff. I'll be jealous at the same time. Well, I was watching you boys out there, and I tell you what, you're pretty quick, you know. But there's a difference between looking quick and being quick. So, Mike, just tell us what we've got here, mate. First, we're going to analyse the time. And these boys have got those speeds. Yep. That's me. So this is how well you're doing around the corners. Oh, yes. Can we compare those to, um... Our pros. So this is them at their similar age to you guys, doing a similar sort of track. Oh, this, this, is, this is unbelievable. You were actually quicker than Jensen and Lewis were at their age. Quicker than Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton? Yes. Really? Jensen and Lewis. Well, this is a once in a career find. Yeah. OK, deal. How does this sound? I go get a contract here today. I sign you boys up to my agency here. Do you like the idea of buying into the Formula 1 lifestyle? Yeah. I'll be back with a contract. <laughs> Mike, come on. Oh, great work, Mr Wachowski. You've really convinced the boys that they're about to become F1 drivers. Let's give Callum the chance for it all to sink in. F1 races? We're going to have a yacht. I want a yacht. I want a speedboat. I want a speedboat yacht. I want a GTR with a, with a yacht underneath it. And a speedboat engine. Yeah, I'd want one of them as well, if I knew what it was. Oh, it's so exciting. So, Strike while the iron's hot, as the old saying goes. What I've got here for you now, boys, is a contract each. Oh. I've had a quick chat with your parents, and you know what? They're as stunned as I am. What I need you to do, contract, blah, 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 sign there. Brilliant. Callum's signing a contract that he thinks is worth millions of pounds. So what's next for the world's newest F1 stars? Well, a TV interview with BBC Sport, of course. Well, OK, it's with me, but Callum doesn't know that. I might have found the new world champions. It's unbelievable. We have on my right here... I'm Paul Dominic. And we have on my left... Callum. Think of them as world champions, people. World champions. Uh, what, what experience do you actually have of driving? Uh, nothing. None, really. Is there much rivalry when you're, when you're in the cars? Do you want to beat each other? We do. I think we, we do probably want we to, like to beat each other. each other, but, but we're still friends. We're still friends. Like, we, if we went into F1, we'd probably join the same team. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. But will they still want to be on the same team after we've cranked the prank and sent them back to see Hot Rod, who's preparing for his big stunt display for the F1 Scout? You've signed up for F1. Yeah, we are we're F1 just drivers. Just press, like. You're not even 12. How old are you? 10. Ten. We just done a press conference as well. This is making me even more nervous now, because I'm like, oh, no, he's, he's asked to see some of, me, some of me turns and stunts and stuff. Whilst Hot Rod's got them distracted, there's Rob, our real stunt driver, sneaking into the car, ready to do the old switcheroo with Dominic. You've got to be careful, though, Rob, because Callum thinks the stunt car is empty. If he sees you get into it, his whole prank is ruined. Oh, good work, Rob. Well, some people need to relax. They get a massage, don't they? Yeah. And they need massage oil. Not the hot rod. Do you know what I need? What? Oil. What? Carol? We're not talking cooking oil. Motor oil. Pass oh. me that. Pass me that. I'll show you what I do. Get that. Anyway, anyone, anyway, just, pass, just pass me the... Yeah. Right, what I do, I'll get me motor oil. Careful, Callum. Lift it, it's heavy, it's probably... St oh! Oh, my... What have you done? Oh, dear. What did you do? Now, you remind me, Hot Rod, is oil slippery? <laughs> ah! Oh, great fall, Hot Rod. Absolute <laughs> classic. Did you... Why did you spill it? <laughs> now, if you could just fake a hand injury for us. Really oh, man, that's so... I'm not going to be able to... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to drive for him now, am I? Because I need my left hand more than anything. Oh, no. Who's going to drive, then? Drive. Us. You. What are you looking? You won't even know. No, I'm not. Oh, shh, I've listen, not got a license. Listen, listen. It's an automatic, right? It's an automatic. Stick that on. He's not going to know, is he? Callum, are you, are you up for this? Yeah. I, I reckon you. I reckon you give it a go. Yeah. Come on. I don't even know. Come on. Callum, just watch that. Yeah, just watch that. Oh, look at his little face. Callum truly <laughs> believes that Dominic is going to drive the stunt car. It's going so well. Hello. 
Oh, nice work from stunt driver Rob there. He's kind of ruined to make it look like Dom is driving for the very first time. Are you mental? It'll be okay. okay. They won't know. They won't know. Now that we've got Callum totally believing that Dom is driving the car, it's time for the old switcheroo and for Dom to get out of there before the serious stunts start. Mate, how's it going? Great. Is he, is he going for it? Yeah. Excellent. OK, well, listen now. Uh, cheers, Rob. You're doing a great job, mate. Now, of course, uh, Callum's going to think that you're in the car driving. This is your communication gear, OK? Put these headphones on, put the walkie-talkie in your back pocket, and you're going to be speaking to him, but he's going to think you're in the car, OK? I've got your vest over here. Let me take your helmet. Quick, cos he's coming. You should be able to hear him now in a minute. Right. Hello? Dominic, hello. Now, remember, Callum and Hot Rod are in this tent here, whilst Dominic and I are hiding in this other tent over here. But Callum thinks Dom is in the car, ready to drive, and he also thinks that if he uses the control desk that we made at Prank HQ, he can actually assist with the stunts. You can tell him to do things like, look, handbrake. Gonna do it. Flips like that, but we didn't want him to do anything too, too adventurous. I'll try some handbrake turns. What's he doing? I got it, I got it. Oh, where's he going? Be telling to be careful. Megan, Megan, be careful, be careful. I'm sorry, I've never done this before. Go forward. Go, go, fast. No, no, what's he doing? OK, OK, what are you doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, wait, no. What are you doing? Oh, I can't control it, I can't control it! Get down! Uh, I'm trying to. Well, try harder. <laughs> Thank you, Dominic. <laughs> Right, listen, you can start pressing some of these now and tell him what to do. You can just go freestyle. Watch my drift. <laughs> nice one, Dom. Whoa! He's Whoa! Whoa! Well said, Dom. That's it, that's it. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Yeah, but make sure you don't press the steering wheel release button because he's probably going to need that. Uh, what have you done? Oh, you've pressed it. Able to help you here. I think we might be able to tell you what's going on, Callum. What's, yeah. what's what just happened? Have you, any, have you any idea what's just happened? He's just blown his car up, but Has then he? he ended up there. Well, maybe Dom, you can tell Callum what's just happened. You've just been pranked by the prank patrol. <laughs> I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to be guess. Did you really think that was me? Yeah. It was just, well, I knew it was you anyway. I thought it was actually you when you near set your car on fire and you're throwing your steering wheel out the car. <laughs> Everyone, a round of applause for Callum. What a great sport. <laughs> Well done, mate. Well done. The stunts were really cool, but the best part of it was Callum actually thought I was the one driving the car. I thought the stunt car was really cool, and my favourite stunt was when he did the two wheels. I was really amazed because I really did think that Dominic was doing them stunts. This prank had it all. We had millions of pounds, we had exploding cardboard boxes, we had a car on two wheels, wicked stunts and donuts. We had a stunt driver, we had a guy that was falling over pretending to be a really famous stunt driver. This prank had everything. Classic. I'm going to try to get him back for this. But you won't. I will. You won't. I will. I will. You won't. I will. Seriously, you won't. I will. So there you have it. Another car-raisy prank. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, yes. So we'll see you next time. Who knows, the star of the show could be you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hang on, I'll get you this time. No, get no, off, no, quick. No. Get off. Oh, he's mad.